there, ho there. We you. <laughs> uh, we are Aaron and Rebecca. Took me a second to actually remember that because was I that have baby brain. I was just like pregnancy brain. Mm-hmm. Totes. Check out our previous vlog. Um, Aaron and Rebecca of In Between Friends, and we are talking today about uh, hospital visitors. Uh, we are getting close to these dudes yeah. coming out. And um, so I am all things hospital related these days and uh, just thinking about who makes me comfortable, who does not make me comfortable, which is, I, I'm not sure if you could know this about me, but more people make me uncomfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable. So uh, who do we let in? How do we keep people out? Um, oh man, this it's is touchy. A, it's a touchy because people, if they love you, are going to want to come. And, and let's be honest, people are just snoopy too. So even if they don't love you, it's just like... <laughs> Maybe. I want to be in because yeah. this is about me and if I'm part of this and this somehow rubs off on yeah. me, I'm a good person, I'm investing, oh. yada, yada, yada. So here's the deal. Discuss it with Jeff. Mm -hmm. Discuss it with your husband first. Who are people that you would feel free to come into the hospital? Now we're not talking about labor and delivery room. We're talking about coming and visiting you after you're out of recovery and you're settled and the baby is there with you and to come and see you. Um, Kind of my rules as I'm putting together that list was probably like, probably no little, little kids and less a sibling. Um, the kid came when baby girl was born, he could care less about her and more about the balloon. But I just didn't want any other kids there. I didn't need my girlfriend's kids, blah, just come by yourself, germ, germ factor. <laughs> um, and the other thing is just people who are going to be comfortable. You are going to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Can we hit on that topic a yes. little bit? Is it... You're yes. going to be A, busy, and B, uncomfortable. But what are you going to be busy doing? Um, learning how to breastfeed. Yeah, just learning, like a yeah. thousand different yeah. things. Um, being encouraged to poop, yeah. having your abdomen, a.k.a. uterus, massaged, um, your blood pressure taken, they're going to draw blood from you, your baby's going to be taken out for, for tests, for shots, So you for got things going on. Maybe it's you, not chatty Cathy time. This is not a hotel that I thought I was going to. <laughs> you yeah. have got stuff going on. The other thing is, use your husband as a gatekeeper. There are certain people that you are not going to keep away, but make sure that your husband can say politely, hey, thanks so much for coming by. We're going to let Aaron get some rest. Yeah. We would love to have you over at the house in probably three weeks when we get settled. Yeah. Give them options, shoo them away. And let your husband know too. I mean, Jeff and I talk about everything, as Rebecca knows, yeah. we talk about everything. Um, but just, it's, it's always safe, you know, safe to have that conversation no matter what. Yeah. I want this person here, I do not want this person there. Yeah. Um, and I've already let Rebecca know, you need to be there. Sorry. And if not, you'll never see another one of these blogs. <laughs> Seriously, the end. <laughs> um, and I've let the people who I definitely want to be there know. Yeah. Um, I don't feel the need to let the, uh, the other people know that I don't want them there. Again, losing friends. Yeah. But uh, let them know. Let your husband know. Correct. We also talked about being a little more proactive. If you're sending out kind of a blanket email saying, hey, Aaron's going into the hospital. We're so excited. We'll let you know as soon as the boys are born. And then look for an email when you can come visit us. So you're proactive. I had weird people show up that I would never have invited. Yeah. And they showed up. And it's just awkward. Yeah. So avoid awkwardness by being proactive. Love it. I mean, that's key in just simple. life anyways, oh, being proactive. So right? simple. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so get maybe the awkward awkwardness out of the way by just being preventative with an email that says, we'll let you know. Another point to having your husband be the gatekeeper is, again, kind of communicating with him. You know what, babes? I really don't want to be talking to a person for longer than 15, 20 minutes. Or if I give you, like, the signal. Yeah. you got to kick him out. Um, just My signal him. will be uh, tears. <laughs> that or you just put your head back on the pillow and like slightly close your yeah. eyes they'll leave they'll get the hint so again just making sure that you've got that squared away you've got that squared away with your man that um he can just do that front line defense yeah. defensive line <laughs> love it um so we hope that you're getting prepared the kind of the same way we are just thinking about these things and, and like she said i think the key here is proactivity yes uh, is that a word? That, now it is. <laughs> <laughs> Proactivity. It's not a word. 
the key here is to be proactive. Um, so I just encourage you to do so. So I would just encourage you to do so. Uh, we love talking about this. Oh my gosh. We need food. Yeah. So the key here is just to be proactive, I think, um, and make sure you're having all the uh, necessary conversations that you need to have prior to uh, going mm -hmm. through this. Totally. We love chatting with you today. We'd love to hear back from you. Please visit our website at www.inbetweenfriends.com and have a great day. Bye. Bye.